Hello, I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the very, very, very final episode of BBC sitcom Ghosts. Um, yeah, it came out on Christmas Day and I have a lot of thoughts about it and I've seen a lot of opinions and thoughts going around online. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So for the episode as a whole, I would say that I generally did really enjoy it. I thought it was quite a good episode. It had all the charm and warmth um, of ghosts in the episode. So that bit I really enjoyed. It felt Christmassy. Working on like how people get Christmas spirit. Is it through like the decorations, the music, or is it due to like doing something to help people? Um, so all of that I thought was really nice. Everything that we love about ghosts was in the episode. Like I said, it had all the warmth and funniness and silliness of ghosts, but then also that very strong emotional aspect of it as well. I did enjoy the plotline with um, Mike's mum, particularly, you know, her seeing the ghosts on uh, the baby monitor, seeing Fanny and Julian on there. This is a plotline I've wanted them to work with before, you know, somebody seeing something ghost-like in the house and then trying to like investigate it, figure out what it is. Um, so yeah, I've wanted something like that since the, the series started and I'm glad they have done that. Um, and I really did enjoy Alison and Mike gaslighting <laughs> his mum. I thought that whole bit was very, very fun. Um, I enjoyed that. I thought it was very funny and, you know, coming up with all those ideas of what could be causing this if it wasn't the ghosts, you know, the whole draft through the house or glitches on the monitor and using the ghosts to help create that. Like I thought that was a really good way of trying to get around it. The like exorcism, getting a priest in to like get rid of the ghosts, I thought was an interesting idea and I would have liked to have that played out a little bit more. I don't really think they played too much with it um, because it is an idea that again, like I said that I've wanted before somebody's trying, like realizing there's ghosts and trying to do something to get rid of them. I wanted them to play with like a Ouija board or something like that. Um, but yeah, they could have, I think this could have been a bigger part of the episode for me because it was quite a short part of it. I didn't really feel any threat towards the ghosts, even though it being a final episode. I felt like I should have been feeling like, oh no, something's gonna happen to one of the ghosts. Are they, is one of them gonna move on? But to me, because it was like over so quickly, I didn't really have that major fear that anything was gonna happen to them. However, in relation to this plotline, I did really like Mike scrambling around the house and like whispering and trying to get the ghosts to hear him and tell him, tell them what's happening. I think it just goes to show how Mike really does care about the ghosts, even though he's never seen them or really interacted with them in any way. Like, but he knows how much they mean to Alison and he wanted to protect them. I thought that was really nice. I thought, you know, the Christmassy plot line of trying to get Robin to feel Christmassy was quite, quite nice. I think, you know, I think most people would go through a bit where one Christmas they don't feel particularly in the Christmas spirit or, you know, for whatever reason. I think the reason is because maybe the house is quite stressful, they're not really interacting with Alison who brings them the Christmas magic because she's so busy looking after her new baby, which Mia I thought was a really sweet name. I thought, you know, the things they were trying to do, like, you know, adding more Christmas decorations and, um, you know, things like that, you know, trying to build up the Christmas spirit. But again, it just kind of felt like an offside kind of thing that was happening. It didn't really feel like a major plot line, even though in like the synopsis of the episode, it was kind of, it was in there quite majorly. Um, but generally, as for the whole episode, I'm gonna talk about the ending in a second, but for the episode as a whole, I did quite like it. It didn't really feel like a final episode until the ending, um, but I thought generally it was quite a good episode. I liked the bit with the mother, with um, Mike's mum. I think, you know, showing how, you know, people try to be helpful, but sometimes it comes across as being very like demanding and not really giving them any space. I think some people would find that quite relatable. I thought there were some really good like comedic bits in it. Um, the whole thing's about, you know, Fanny appearing on the baby monitor, you know, kind of jokes that they played with, with that before. Um, and I liked, you know, they finally get Mike's mum to accept that there's no ghost and then Julian plays music out loud. I thought there was lots of really funny bits in the episode. Um, but as I said, it didn't really feel like it was leading to anything final. Um, it all just felt like a very normal episode, quite similar to what happened with the final episode of series um, of series five. To me, that didn't feel like a final episode, um, even though in some ways it was, like the Christmas special, you're a bit detached from it, so it kind of felt like it should have been a bit more final, if that makes sense. Right, let's talk about the ending, the thing that everybody is talking about. The ghosts going into the kitchen and telling Alison that they love her and they want her to be happy and look after her kid. 
and that they should move out of the house. I think it was a really beautiful moment. I think, you know, the ghosts all accepting that this had to happen and that it was the right thing to do because it is unsustainable. Alison trying to raise a baby while there's 10 ghosts in the house or however many there are. I liked the idea of it being them giving Alison this gift of moving on. You know, we've talked about how the ghosts move on and they have to kind of come to terms with things, accept, accept something maybe, and maybe this is Alison accepting that she can't live in the house anymore and therefore she is moving on as the ghosts would kind of move on to the next step in their afterlife. She needs to move on to the next step of her life. So I think the messages there are quite nice. Let's get into all the things I did like and then I'll talk about my criticisms in a bit. So what did I like? As I said, I really liked the sweet moment of them telling Alison. The, the creators of the show did say that there would be the last final like few minutes of the episode would be quite unexpected and they were definitely right on that. I thought the ghosts were being very selfless, allowing Alison to move on. She's been a big part of their lives for five years, I think it is. And, you know, their lives have been changed by her and they could keep being changed by her and they could keep benefiting from having her in the house. Um, but instead have decided that she needs to move on. And with this, you can see the kind of stress, like immediately leave Alison, showing to me that she has been kind of wrestling with this idea that, you know, her life is gonna be continually surrounded. She's gonna be continuously like critiqued by people, you know, Fanny especially, which she did immediately. And them always kind of like making comments on the way that they're looking, that they're raising Mia. You know, people from all different, like time periods, they all have different ways of raising children. They all have their different thoughts and opinions that they're obviously gonna tell Alison or, you know, they're, they're very clingy ghosts. So she wouldn't really get a spare like time to have alone with like Mike and Mia. And I think for the ghosts as well, we're obviously seeing that they were feeling ignored and that they weren't able to see Alison, obviously because she had a newborn baby. Um, but you know, obviously I think it was the right decision. It just wasn't sustainable for them. The house has continuously been a burden um, throughout the whole series. It's like the, one of the continuous things that we've had is that the house is continuously causing them problems, whether that be, um, you know, with like money, like the heating bill being too much, the constant need of like renovation for the house their plans not really working out for whatever reason to earn money from the house. It's just constant stress and money worries. So it makes sense to me that they would need to leave if they have got a child in that house as well. You know, with things that have constantly been falling down, you know, things are set on fire. I know that was a completely like isolated incident, but I don't think a child, even though it'd be fun to run around the house and around the grounds, really is able to live in such like a a building that needs so much like renovation and work for it to be livable and safe. They also show that Alison was only really staying there for the ghosts because she liked them. And I think it perhaps shows that she did feel this responsibility that she had to be there for the ghosts at all time and look after them as if like, you know, they were her own children. <laughs> um, whereas she's actually got a, an, an actual child now that she has to look after. And again, I think this does make sense in things that we've seen previously in this series, as I said, with the house being a burden to them. But the main reason that Alison and Mike didn't move into that one house that they found that was unoccupied was by ghosts was that it was too quiet. And I think now, because they've moved into this different stage in their life, that isn't gonna be a problem anymore because they've got a child. So that's obviously, there's gonna be continuous life and noise in the house now. So that I think shows to me that they're all ready to make that next step. This is like a natural moving on point for them. Um, them kind of like roughing it in the house that's cold, that's falling apart, makes sense for like a young couple that doesn't have too much money, like it makes sense for them. But now they are a young family and they've got a child to look after. It makes sense that, they, that the child needs to be in a more appropriate living space. And it's something that we've seen ex explored in series five was Mike's constant worry that they're not gonna have enough money to look after their child, that all the expenses that come with having a child. And this makes sense because they now have money from selling the house so they can now afford to um, raise their child and give her the things that they want to give her and perhaps have more children in the future. And as for the actual ending for the ghosts, the house being turned into this golf resort and hotel, I think it was a really good idea having it be a place that Alison and Mike can go visit that Alison can go and talk to the ghost whenever she wants to. Um, I like that she had her own room in my head. That is a room that is closed off to everybody else and that she's allowed to, like it's her room 
and no one else can go in there so the ghosts have their own like private space and I do I do really like that I think that they get to see Alison grow up and you know perhaps they take Mia to the house so they can see Mia as well um but for me I think this makes sense because I saw people criticize it being like oh it's like found family and now the family's breaking apart and I think Yes, it's sad, but I think this is more representative of what an actual family is. You're not with them 24 seven, you're with them, you know, you go and see them, you go visit. And I think that kind of plays into the like, this family trope a lot more. And the ghosts are still a family all together all the time. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it fits to what Alison's and Alison and Mike's life is. You know, Alison is still gonna be seeing the ghosts, but it's not gonna be a constant burden on her. I also think a hotel is a good, place for the for the ghosts to live in um because i think they can all get up to lots of different things there's going to be like constant entertainment for them whether that's like fanny listening to all the gossip um julian and maybe some other like i don't know thomas and pat like watching the golf um you know there's there's lots of things for them to do that i imagine there'd be like a tv on most of the time in like a bar or something there'd be lots of things to like listen into conversations to hear they'll be continuously surrounded by people and things going on so they wouldn't be like as bored um obviously things with like reading a book they perhaps wouldn't be able to do because Alison's not there to move the pages but i think they'd be, they wouldn't feel bored, there'd be new things all around them, which I think is quite nice. And I loved the plague ghost in the sauna downstairs. I thought that was a brilliant way to end the episode. I thought that was so funny. And yeah, just showing how they're, they're all, you know, they kind of keep to themselves and now they've got a sauna to live out their afterlife. I just thought that was really nice. I really loved seeing Alison in her like older age, going back to the house and seeing the ghost. And from that, we know that Kitty, Julian and Thomas are still in the house as ghosts, um, which I think is quite nice to know. I, I liked the little interaction that she had where we don't see the ghost, but we see her talking to them. I think that was really sweet. Um, there are some things about the setup that they have that do make me a little bit sad. Like if a ghost did move on and Alison's not there, they have to kind of deal with that themselves and then tell Alison that they have that that ghost has moved on. And I do hope the fact that we didn't hear that Robin was there, that he has moved on. I think he just, he longs to move on. And I think, I really hope he has. I think that's something that he really wanted. And I think that's something that while they'd be sad about, they'd know that that was what he wanted. Kind of like with Mary, they were sad, but they knew that it's what she really wanted. And so they accepted it and realized that it was the right thing to happen you know and if there's they are missing things from Alison that they would have if she was there you know getting to see Mia grow up and getting to see other things you know they haven't really been able to interact with Mia one thing I was hoping to see was Mia as a baby kind of talking to the ghosts or something like that or maybe as like a toddler um talking to the ghosts and being able to see them um but we didn't get that unfortunately um so yeah let's get into the things that I didn't quite like and my main criticisms of the thing so as I said, I liked the ending and I liked the episode, like the bit before the ending, but to me, it felt a bit rushed. I think it was such a stark jump from the episode that was not really feeling very final, a um, bit like chaotic with her not um, being able to talk to the ghosts um, and also the conflict with his, with Mike's mum, to then Alison and Mike leaving. To me, I feel like this episode would have benefited from being like an hour long, um, you know, have like an hour long special. Um, for me, that would have meant showing the increasing difficulty of raising a child and also having to deal with the ghost on Alison's part, how um, unsustainable it would be to live but like both with the ghost and also with the house kind of like falling down, showing the dangers of it. And then the ghosts going to Alison and being like, this isn't working um, and we know that you need to move on and we are gifting you the feeling that like you're doing the right thing if that makes sense you don't you know you don't have to consider us we know this is the right thing to do to me that would have felt like a more gradual development rather than just like snap of the finger and like oh yeah we're gonna send her on her way and I know there was bits of that with the fact that from Mia's birth to like Christmas it was about like six seven weeks where however long it was so there is that development but we didn't really see that that much we just kind of saw the jump from Halloween to Christmas another thing that I didn't quite like is that we very much reversed the final of series five so them deciding that they love the ghosts too much even though Alison found out that one of them tried to murder her um to then going from oh we love you but we're gonna leave now 
What I feel like should have happened at the end of season five is they kind of left that question up in the air as like, we don't know what we're going to do. Are we going to move? Are we going to stay? Yeah, it should have been more ambiguous. And then this episode was them realising that however much they love the ghosts was that for, for Mia's sake and for Alison's sake, they needed to move on and move house. To me, that would have felt a bit more like realistic um, and... I think, you know, the cliffhanger from, we should, we could have had that cliffhanger from series five. It would have felt more, like I was still very excited about the Christmas episode anyway, but I felt like there would have been more questions. So like, oh my God, what are they going to do? Are they going to leave? Are they not going to leave? And I felt like going into the Christmas episode, it would have felt a bit more final because to me, I had kind of accepted that they were just going to stay. And then to have that reversed in like the last two minutes of the show, it felt very sudden. Like it could have been a decision that they were wrestling with um, and you know, the continuous added stress of having to raise a baby and realizing that this isn't gonna work, I think would have made it a bit more impactful for me. To me, it did just felt like, oh, we've got this episode and oh wait, we need an ending to the entire show and this is the ending. And as I said, I liked the final place where the ghost ended up, I liked that. And I liked the episode with Mike's mother, but it just felt like they had just kind of sliced two ideas into one. Um, and I get that it, it it makes sense, you know, the mother-in-law um, is, is kind of showing what the ghosts would be like, and that's how they make that decision. But as I said, it just felt like a bit too sudden t- for me. The plot line with Mike's mum, for me, overshadowed the rest of the episode. As a final episode, I felt like, it, I feel like it should have been more focused on what we saw in the last few minutes of the show, where they're moving on, they're trying to decide how to handle getting to see the ghosts you know things like that so maybe if it had been a longer episode we could have seen them working out those those kind of things and then making a deal that this is our room we get to have this room all the time I would have liked to see if Mike's bar idea would have played out or whether he would have come up with a different idea um, to raise like a continual income from the house but I think my main complaint is they did try to fit too many things in one episode Um, like I think the main things of this episode should have been getting it to see Mia, the ghost getting to see Mia, um, and then them realizing it's unsustainable, them moving on and kind of what we see from the house. Like, as I said, I liked the mother-in-law plotline, but I think it just took away too much of the episode. And I know the reason, I know why that was needed. It was to show how stressed they were, how difficult it was and how they needed to move on and change kind of things about their their lives but it just felt overshadowed i hated the fact that they couldn't really talk to mia or talk to alison like the ghost couldn't really talk to alison and then to be struggling with that and then alison move on it kind of i was just like oh my god this is actually happening right now um and for the exorcism plot line thing as i said i wanted to kind of see that and i liked the general idea but they just, it didn't really, really play with it. It was like two minutes of the show and we saw them being very concerned that the ghosts were gonna move on and them being really scared about that. And then, oh wait, but we're gonna leave anyway. Like it just, there was too many things going on and I feel like it could have worked a little bit better if they had like, yeah, as I said, an hour long episode or changed how season five ended. And to me, it would have been a bit more impactful. It would have made, wouldn't have felt as much as, as sudden but I guess the suddenness kind of comes from, you know, when we saw Mary move on, that was very sudden. Um, and I think Alison and Mike moving out of the house is supposed to parallel the ghosts moving on. So they're moving out, it's sudden, it's unexpected. There's like reasons behind it, um, but it doesn't take away the pain of them moving on. Like it's the right thing to do, but it still hurts. Um, and I think that very much parallel parallels the feelings that we had with Mary, like she moved on, it was sudden, it was unexpected. It made sense because she wanted to move on and she'd overcome some things, you know, talking about her death, but even though it was right, it still hurt and it was still sad. So that's to me like the explanation behind it. But as a viewer, it was a bit like, took me back a bit. And I know reading people's thoughts online that there are some people who are, very very unhappy with the ending and people who really felt like it didn't fit to the messages that ghosts have had um i mean people's opinions are valid but i think for me it makes sense as an ending but i feel like the execution could have perhaps been improved a little bit 
Um, but yeah, and I did see those people sending like hate to their creators and that is unacceptable. Um, but like no matter how much you hated the episode, it doesn't, ex- you, know, you know, you can't be doing that. That's ridiculous. I definitely understand why people didn't like it. Um, and perhaps gonna, you know, in their head, not count that as an episode that has happened. Some people are saying that the ghost ended at the end of season five, which I completely understand. Um, if that's how, how you feel, if you really didn't like it. Um, they did warn us it was going to be unexpected the last um, few minutes of the show. But yes, I wasn't quite expecting that, which I guess is it worked. That's what they wanted to happen. Um, but yes, I don't, I don't know if they had perhaps meant for season five to be the ending and then they got asked to do a Christmas special and had to kind of change up how they were doing it or perhaps move the ending. So the ending was going to be like that. To me, it makes sense. I think them selling the house and it being turned into this resort hotel makes sense. And I feel like it perhaps should have happened at the end of season five that Alison accepted, not for the fact that Julian pushed her out the window, but realised maybe with a child it's not going to be sustainable. But then they had to kind of think of a new kind of plot to go before they're moving on. Like That's kind of what it feels like to me. And I think that's where my main criticism comes from. Like I said, I do like the ending. I like what happened with the ghost. Yes, in an ideal world, they would have all lived happily ever after in the same house. But realistically, it's not going to happen. And I think it really did play into all those things that we do like about ghosts. You know, this idea of being selfless and helping others. And I think it was just a really, a sweet thing for the ghost to do, even though we didn't like it. Um, And I think, yeah, it was emotional and it was funny and that's what Ghosts is and I think they encapsulated that in the final episode. But yes, those are my thoughts. I think I could talk about this episode for a long time. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you a bit mixed like me? And yeah, let me know what you thought because yes, as I said, I've seen lots of (laughs) thoughts going around online. Um, And if you like this video, then please give it a like. It helps the channel and subscribe if you wanna see more videos to do. Well, I can't say with ghosts anymore because that's finished, but if you wanna see more videos to do with whatever the creators end up doing next, I will definitely be following their future projects. Um, I've seen online that they are workshopping some new ideas as a, as a group um, at the moment. So I'm sure what they do next will be as fantastic as all the other things that they've done. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.